everyone it's Melissa today's video is empties I love empties I like doing them because I can look back and say oh I really like that it's a it's a physical reminder of what I did like and didn't like and whether I bought it again and I think that you know I can forget during the month and that's why I like watching it other people do empties too because I can see what they truly did like if they used it up and if they bought it again so I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, I don't have that many so my last two videos have been kind of long so hopefully this one will be a little short I will try not to talk too much and get off track which I, I tend to do sometimes so my first one is the Kendra 25 um, I love this hairspray it it holds very very well and I can do a light spray and get a light hold that that isn't really stiff but it lasts really well but then I can spray more and it will just really set it like if it's something up that I need to you know my hair's up and I'm gonna be out doing something I need it to kind of stay that way it will keep it that way it's really a good hairspray I really like it a lot and I have repurchased it another hairspray is this one from the Elnet uh, just the Elnet hairspray I keep this and I do have another one when I run out of it I think I'll buy it again I just like to keep it for maybe lightly spraying the rollers or it's it isn't on me it isn't a very heavy hairspray at all uh, but it's one that I like to keep uh, it's just medium to light hold and I do like to keep it while we're on hairsprays this is I got a like a small size of this one the red come fashion work 12 uh, I do like it a lot and I bought the larger size I use it to spray my roots before I roll my hair uh, you know like on the crown where I like the most height and it does a really good job that and the spray to mode I still have some of the spray to mode by bumbling bubbling I go back and forth but I really like this a lot it's really good it's a working hairspray so you can spray and then style your hair afterwards and it just helps to hold I'll spread on my roots and it just kind of helps hold the roots so I like it a lot but the next one is it's a coffee I don't know if I've, I think I've mentioned it before in a favorite it's the market in Maine I get it at my local food city uh, Volgers is my favorite coffee the you know for the k-cups uh, and they have a lot of different flavors but I really really like the uh, salted caramel of this the market and May it is really really good and I keep it so I will go with my rotation of some Folgers uh, I like coffees that have a flavor <laughs> flavored coffee and then get you know use some of the care right now I'm just exclusively using this caramel the salted caramel it's really good I like it I especially like it with the uh, coconut cream creamer that comes in the bottle um, I like it a lot so I went through a couple of things of my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes I love this I will wash up all my makeup and then around my eyes whatever is left over I will take the rest of it off with these and then the next morning say I've had a bath that night and had you know like um, Oh, some self tanner or something and, and it got around the bathtub I will take my wipe that I have used and kind of wet it and uh, dampen it a little bit and then it gets out the bathtub grime really really well I like it I like this a lot okay the Shiseido I loved the white lucent it was just a great product they reformulated replaced it and they suggested something else that was more expensive in their women's line but I went to the Shiseido men's line and I looked at the ingredients between their men's cleanser and their Shiseido women's cleanser and they uh, the white lucent and they were pretty much ingredient by ingredient the same so I went to the men's formula it is cheaper I went all the way through this one I really like it and um, it's just it's just a great cleanser I really like it a lot the Shiseido cleansers just had that little something something to them they foam just the right amount 
I like to wipe off foam with a washcloth, that, these little washcloths that I knit. And so I wipe it off and it's just the right amount of foam to wipe off nicely and then rinse my face off. It just takes everything off but doesn't leave grease behind but doesn't leave dryness behind. I like this. And I have not found any other foaming cleanser that does the same thing that these Shiseido cleansers do. So I just go with the men's version of it. They're good. Uh, Glytone exfoliating body lotion. It is has glycolic acid in it, a 17.5 free acid value. I did a video on importance of the free acid values and the pH factors. I will try to remember to link it above. And uh, I just really like this. It has helped to, you know, I've got a lot of sun damage. My mother had sun damage all over her body. So um, I inherited that from her. And so I have a lot of spots and stuff. This helps even it out. It does not get rid of them. You have to go get that professionally done. I have too many of them to do that. But it just evens them out. And then I can put a, a like a little tinted sunscreen on or just regular sunscreen. And it's just not, it, it is not as noticeable. It really seems to make a difference in my spots. Uh, this is the best thing I've found. I have found all kinds of, tried all kinds of different things. This is the best for fading and blending in spots with the rest of your skin. And of course, I've repurchased that and repurchased the hairsprays and repurchased the coffee and repurchased my makeup wipes. This is another I have repurchased. Uh, Doug loves this. This is from Bath and Body Works, the Island Papaya hand soap and we like the kind that foams he loves this and when he starts running low he'll say please order me some more of the papaya or he'll order it he's ordered it himself but if i'm happen to be out to go by bath and body works he'll say would you check to see if they have some of the island papaya hand soap so he loves it so i have repurchased this rest in peace curling iron you served me well this was Solia, S-O-L-I-A. Uh, it did well. It did what it was supposed to do. It started fraying and I took electrical tape and patched it up right here. And then it got to where it just quit. It would plug in. It would keep working. And then when I would start using it, it would quit working. When I would lay it down, it would work. When I would try holding it and doing different things. So I finally just thought, well, it might start being dangerous. So I just, I got me another one, but this one was, it did fine. You know, I used it a lot. I got my money's worth. This is the Obagi, you know, I love Obagi products. The Obagi Tinted Sun Shield. It just does a beautiful job of protecting and just kind of even, I put it on my arms and my chest, but uh, I have not repurchased this. And the reason is I have been using the Australian Gold Tinted and I like it just as well. It does a really good job. It does not seem to rub off on my clothes. I have it on today, the Australian Gold, and I have on white today and it's nothing's on my, you know, nothing's on my neck or on my chest or anything. Uh, but. I can't guarantee you that it won't transfer, you know, to somebody else. So don't, you know, that this has just been my experience. It doesn't transfer. I'm talking about the Australian gold. This one didn't either. This is great, but I did not repurchase it because I just found something cheaper. Yeah, this this is this is pricey. So I was glad to find the Australian gold. Bath and Body Works toasted praline and pear. I think, I'm going to look, I think I have bought up every bit of the toasted praline and pear that I could find on eBay and on Amazon. I'm going to keep on looking to see if there's more out there. Oh my gosh, it is unbelievable how good it smells. I think it's the best smelling body wash I have ever used in my whole life. It's just the best smelling smell. I love it. I don't wear perfumes very often. I just forget to put it on and I really haven't found one that I like really well. But this comes with a, a spray. I mean, you can buy the spray and the body lotion and I do have it too. But this, oh, if you like use this at night and get into bed, oh my gosh, you smell, you smell delicious all night long. <laughs> it's just so good. I wish they would bring it back. I wish they would. 
If anybody of you know the CEO of Bath & Body Works, please have them bring it back. It's so good. Let me give you a close-up so you can see what it looks like. So if you have any pull in Bath & Body Works, please have them bring it back. The shower gel. So good. I went through a um, Lancome Stick Foundation. It's my favorite one. Uh, I have a couple of drugstores that I will wear on days like that I don't film. Uh, but this is this is the holy grail for me for foundations Lancome stick foundations 320 is my color love it love it they changed the formula or they changed the packaging and said they had redone it but it's the same formula which i was so grateful for they just took out the sunscreen love it i have asthma and a couple of people have asked me what i use uh, you know, I have my emergency inhaler and people have asked me what I use on a regular basis to control my asthma. I use Asthma Nex Twist Inhaler. Uh, I have had really good luck with it. It's, you know, it's not an emergency one. It's one that you use to prevent attacks and I just, it's just done a wonderful job with me. Um, I've been really pleased. I do two puffs in the morning. So, uh, would not be without this. So anyway, I thought people that had asked about it, that's what it is. So I do a puff, hold my breath, let it really sink into my lungs, exhale. Do another puff, hold my breath, let it sink into my lungs, exhale. You have to brush your teeth immediately after to get any residue out of your mouth and kind of gargle too to get it out of your throat. But it does a great job for me controlling my asthma. Of course, check with your doctor. And I also wanted to say another thing about the asthma. I have a heart condition called, it's a birth defect called Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. And uh, so there's certain drugs that I can't take because it'll get my heart out of whack. And uh, there are asthma medicines that are not, are contraindicated for Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, but that is not one of them. So I did mention that in case you do suffer from that too. Okay. Uh, sun Shields. I got this as a sample. This is the Sun Shield. It's supposed to be matte from Abaji. I used to, on, their, on my face, I always used their sun, their matte sunscreen that I just loved. And that was my holy grail and I always recommended it. But they changed it. This, the new, is terrible. I had to wash my face or felt like I needed to wash my face after I used this sample. Did not like it. It came free with something else I bought. And I just don't like it at all, you know. I don't. I don't like it a bit. I cannot recommend the reformulated uh, Obagi Sun Shield that is supposed to be matte. It is not. I don't think it's good. I don't like it. Okay, this is my brow pencil from Trish McAvoy. Uh, I don't do a whole lot to my brows. I just kind of you know fill in and kind of bring them up a little bit to make them a little thicker. Uh, this is her, it's natural or neutral, neutral or natural, I think it's natural blonde, in parentheses it has blonde, I think they have, she has two colors, blonde and brunette, the blonde is just really kind of a nice taupe color, goes with medium to lighter brows, does a really good job, I really like this a whole lot, it's got a little tiny fine, well it's, it's empty, but I have repurchased and it lasts me, it lasts me quite a bit, quite a bit of time. So I don't have to buy it too often. I really like this. I found out about it from my friend Swoozy. So I will link her channel below. Mary Kay, uh, this is what I use on my feet at night. So uh, before I get into bed or take a shower, whatever I do at night, uh, I will buff my feet with my buffer. And then uh, when I get into bed, I will put this on and put on a pair of socks. I love this. It reminds me of when I was praying. I, I, I found out about this extra molly at night cream in 1975 when I was pregnant with my daughter. I think, no, it was actually before that. In about 1974, I started using Mary Kay and used it then before I started on the Obagi and, you know, Retin-A and stuff. But I used Mary Kay then, and their system was very, very simple. Just a few products, and the last product was extra molly at night cream. So when I was pregnant with my daughter in 1975, I put it on my stomach. So the smell of it, they still, you know, I'm still using it now on my feet. 
the smell of it reminds me of being pregnant with her. So, I love this. For some reason, I bought a whole bag full of little sample sizes, and I don't know why. But anyway, Extra Molly at Night Cream on Your Feet by Mary Kay. It is great. I got this in a bonus thing like Sephora. You could use some of your points and get a bonus thing. I did the Kerastase, this one, right there. It's a Kerastase version. I have since bought a different kind of Kerastase with their mask, and I really like it. I didn't care for this. This is the conditioner. I just didn't feel like it did anything for my, my hair. And a lot of people tell me you uh, with Kerastase, you almost need to use the mask every time as a conditioner. But this conditioner just didn't do anything for me at all. So, couldn't recommend it. I didn't use it all. Another one I can't recommend is, I said I like the Australian Gold Tinted because it just dries really matte and not greasy at all. But this was, I mentioned it uh, in another video, how I did not like this. I'm gonna see if anybody in my family wants it. It is the Australian Gold Aloe and Coconut. Don't like it, it, it is greasy. I just couldn't get rid of that feeling. It never did dry down and I just needed to go take a shower. I didn't like it at all. So it is full and I'm gonna see if anybody wants it. So that is it. Uh, not gonna be too terribly long. I'll cut it down as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Try to stay cool. Gosh, it's hot around here. Oh, it's so hot and humid. But uh, anyway, staying inside where the air conditioning is, that's the main thing to do. Everybody take care and I appreciate it. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye.